Welcome to York, a city packed with history and coffee shops. If you're visiting, we recommend checking out the Jewel of York. But what is it? The Minster? Clifford's Tower? Dame Judi Dench? Not quite. Meet the Tansy Beetle, a small creature that's won a big place in the hearts of local residents. The Tansy Beetle is around one centimetre in length and beautiful. The word iridescent seems to have been invented to describe it, but what is a Tansy Beetle and why all the fuss? They are of course insects and belong to the order Coleoptera. They're also part of the family Chrysomelidae. Often called leaf beetles, many are brightly coloured and metallic. Some are serious agricultural pests. The tansy beetle is definitely not a pest and very much in need of help. It is nationally rare in the UK, found in only three locations. The long-term stronghold is the River Ouse in York, where it's found along a stretch of about 30 kilometers. The beetle was once much more widespread, but why is it so rare now? The beetle is constrained by its own biology and ecology. Named after its primary food plant, tansy, the beetle eats almost nothing else. This restricted diet has led it to being described as the panda of the insect world, in reference to that mammal's dependence on bamboo. And it's not alone. The tansy beetle is one example from tens of thousands of host-dependent insect species around the world. These creatures rely on only one, or just a few, plant species for their existence. In this situation, both the insect and plant species are prone to co-extinction. If the host plant goes extinct, the dependent insect soon follows. Like most creatures with unusual quirks in their ecology, they were quite happy until humans started meddling with their environment. Tansy beetle numbers have been reduced by unsympathetic land management, tansy plants being outcompeted by rival or invasive species, and an increase in severe flooding. Similar patterns are seen with other insect species around the world. That's quite a lot of problems for one little beetle to face. Fortunately, they aren't alone. Charities, conservation organisations and volunteers have been working hard to help the beetles prosper. Their work has involved controlling the competitors of tansy, fencing off patches of tansy to stop them being eaten by livestock, connecting those patches with additional tansy plants to aid beetle dispersal, and creating refuges known as arc sites. These are areas of tansy plants, complete with beetles, that have been established away from the flood zones. Captive breeding programs have even been attempted. What are the wider implications for all this work? Well, the tansy beetle is an important conservation case study. The hard work put in by all those involved gives hope that we can save other insect species around the world, including those with an evolved reliance on specific host plants. And we think this positive ethos is best encompassed by the newly unveiled tansy beetle mural near York train station celebrating what has truly become the Jewel of York. If you're interested in the topic, we've got loads of other episodes all about insects and biodiversity, so be sure to check them out. And don't forget to subscribe to EcoSapien.